We have a lot of one size to talk about today. First thing that we have here is the one size secure the blur hydrating eye patches six patches in here This is what it looks like. I never really use eye patches that often. I really don't but this is what it looks like It comes very secured. Oh, this is so cool a huge eye patch I've never seen an eye patch this big before So cold. I love the one size while these eye patches are on I'm gonna fill in my brows I actually have tried the one size Kiki before but I ran out of it and I need to buy a new one I forgot about my brows. This is the one size brow Kiki micro brow defining pencil and it's in the shade dark brown But I love that brow pencil Patrick star visionary eye palette. This is what it looks like Super pretty packaging. Just put your hand right there and easily open it and you have no trouble. I go in with soft serve and I'm just going to blend it in my crease. Go in with taupe of my game. Let's kind of deepen the crease a little bit. These shades are very neutral. Manila Sands, Manila Philippines. Shout out to the Filipinos out there. I'm half. Filipino, so you know I gotta represent. It's not overly pigmented, which I love. And you could really just diffuse it and build it up if you want. So, liner, this is the 24 hour liquid eyeliner pen. This is in the color Bodacious Black. I don't know if they have a brown version of the liquid liner. This is a very thin marker. It's so easy to use. Gel liner, and I'm not 100% sure how I'm gonna feel about this because I don't normally do this. This is in the shade Busty Brown. It looks like this. Every second, every minute, man, I swear to I'm so scared to put things on my waterline sometimes. Just kind of deepened it up a little bit and I kind of connected it to the wing. So let's get into the fun part, which is complexion. Your eyes feel Really hydrated. We're gonna go in with the Secure the Blur Primer. And this is supposed to be an ultra blurring, pore defining primer with niacinamide that mattifies and evens out skin tone and texture as it grips onto the makeup. I'm sure you've seen this all over your TikTok page or wherever you find new makeup. I'm sure you've seen this before. I'm just gonna put it on one side of my face so you can really see if it does secure the blur. Am I just seeing things or does this look like it's already blurring? I don't know. This side has the primer and this side does not have it. So we can really test at the end of the day. Turn off the base at BBB Cream Beauty Blur Balm. This is in the shade of medium three. I have tried this out on my TikTok before. Everyone's skin is different. So honestly, it's up to you, but I do like it. So we're just gonna put a little bit cause you honestly don't need that much. I always do it with my fingers, but let's just do it with a brush. <laughs> We're gonna take a beauty blender and just tap that in. So far, I'm loving how my face is looking. We're almost done. So now we're gonna go in with the one size turn up the base butter silk concealer. That's the packaging. It's a small doe foot applicator, which I really like. This has caffeine in it. I feel like this is a good undertone though. Rosy peachiness to it, which kind of color corrects on its own. So I actually do like this color. So easy to blend, like look at that. I like to open my curtains to see what my skin looks like in natural lighting because my room can totally deceive me. I'll walk out of here with blush and I'll look like I got punched in the face when I walk outside. I'm gonna lightly set my face with the one size blurring powder. I actually bought this myself, actually like towards the bronzer area because I don't want it to look patchy. So these are the new products that I really am excited for because this is the newest launch of One Size. Made for shade medium trio. And this is the cheek clapper. But we're just gonna go on for the bronzer first. Three texture blurring shades. One shade is supposed to be for all over bronzer. One is warm glow and one is to contour. Or you could mix them all. Also has the classic flap here so it's easier to open. And this is what they look like. This is in the shade Legacy Honey. This is Masterpiece and this is Don't Try It. So Don't Try It is a contour 
We have a warm bronzer and then like an all over bronzer. I think I'm just gonna mix these two for my bronzer and this is definitely gonna be for contouring. This brush right here, I don't know how to contour. We're gonna try this brush, it's smaller. Okay, this is definitely very pigmented. Be careful with that, don't put too much bronzer and just kind of bronze up our forehead these shades are perfect for bronzer you know how sometimes bronzers could look a little too orange this is very blurring like when you apply this on your face i recommend setting with a loose powder first and then applying these products because it just blends in so easy really good i love the bronzer I clap your cheeks with three versatile textures in an expressive monochromatic color family to achieve blurring 3D blush effect. Each can be worn alone or layered. So this is what it looks like. I have the shade Freaky Peach Flex Cream. They have a blurring matte powder and an eye-catching seamless finish, which is supposed to be like a highlighter or like a blush topper. Go ahead and dip in. I don't know how pigmented these are, so I'm not gonna do the most. And it also has a mirror. So pretty look how easily this is blending in it's like the perfect amount don't put too much you don't have to keep dipping back in and take the matte powder we're just gonna go in with the hyper sheen with the same brush blend that on top with the glow this is perfect because if you still want that glow but you want powder because you don't want creams to move all over the place this is the perfect palette so pretty now that I look a little sunburnt, we're gonna go in with the Viral Turn Up The Base Versatile Powder Foundation. This is in the shade Medium 1N. I don't know if you've seen this on TikTok, but Makeup by Aria, which is uh, Kylie Jenner's makeup artist, he likes to apply pressed powder first and then loose powder on top. I have dry under eyes, so we're gonna test it out with both one size products. We're gonna go in with the puff. I recognize your fragrance, hold up, you ain't never gotta say shit. All right, now we're gonna go on the other side. Same thing. Okay, that's what my under eyes are looking like. Now we're gonna go in with the one size blurring setting powder and I'm gonna take a brush on this side and apply it on top. I'm gonna take the puff on the other side. I'm kind of surprised that this is a full face of powder. Um, it does not look that way in real life because of the hyper sheen. This makeup spray is supposed to make your makeup last for 16 hours. It's waterproof, sweatproof, transferproof, and smudge proof. It is a mattifying waterproof spray. I typically don't go for mattifying uh, sprays because I do sometimes love a dewy look. But if this works out really nicely, I'm going to go buy the luminous spray. This would be really good if you're going out for a long time. This spray itself looks like hardcore. I'm gonna try to contour my nose. I should have done this before I sprayed, but I mean, it's okay. Okay, we're just gonna put a straight line. I mean, it's low key working. I feel like this is easier to contour than other um, products that I've tried. I mean, you don't have to contour your nose. This is just a step I like to do in my makeup routine. I'm gonna spray this one more time. So smooth. And if you don't like a matte base, the Hyper Sheen for the blush tops it off perfectly. I feel like this could be honestly like my everyday glam makeup routine. Like this just looks so good. You can really see what I'm talking about. Like my under eyes, are creasing a little bit right here, but that could be because I did not um, tap it out. I'll be back to check in. I'm definitely gonna go outside and we'll just see how long this makeup lasts. Currently 12 p.m. About to eat some Cheez-Its, but I'll show you what my makeup is looking like. This is what it looks like with natural lighting. I'll show you with the back camera. What do we think? So hopefully it looks good with the back camera. If it doesn't, I'm embarrassing myself right now, but I think it's gonna look really nice. Like with the back.
bad camera on my iPhone. I wanted to put this in here because I feel like the phone quality really can show you what my face looks like with the flash. So you can still see the blush. My eyeshadow did not crease, eyeliner is still intact. Um, everything is still on, like my bronzer looks really nice still, both sides. The only thing that came off is my nose contour. For 11 hours, this is not bad at all. Filming this outro before my wear test, I think this palette is literally perfection. And it looks like a little flip phone. Hello. I hope this helped you kind of figure out what you might not want to get or what you want to get. So yeah let me know what other videos you want to see from me next i really enjoy making these kind of videos and i will talk to you next time bye